Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously. And look where I ended up. Just between you and me, the whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so I guess this is like where we pick like our our like preferred skills, right? I don't think that I should take unarmed as as a skill. Please, where is fighting. he? Ah! <laughs> so I'll do small guns, and then I like this one because I think medicine is a no brainer, especially for me. Small guns. Can I change this later? That's like a a good question. I think. Can I? I can't change this later. Can I? You can. Okay. Okay, so I can change, like, my proficiencies later. Okay, then that helps, because then if, we, if there's something that we don't like, we can always change it. Turn in the goat to Mr. Roach. Exit the classroom. Okay. Hello. Hello, Christine Kendall. Oh, hi. Uh, why Yo, are you teach. talking to me? I'm oh. done. Okay. Ah, uh, Butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Get his ass. Allow me to savor the moment. Get his ass. Now then, let's see. Hmm. Really? Interesting. You surprised me, Butch. I didn't think you had it in you. Hairdresser. Who would have thunk it? You're so full of it. That isn't <laughs> true. Hello. Get out of my I'm face. I'm all done, Mr. Broch. Get out of my face. Yes. I was here first. Uh, wait a we'll second. Talk Can to I your have a friend? friend? I think I need to Later. change one of my answers. <laughs> Just calm down a minute, Paul. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Let's see. Mm. Hmm. Oh! Yep, just as I thought. You're slated for the engineering track. Congratulations, Mr. Hannon. You've passed the GOAT. Oh, gee. That's not so bad. Engineering, all right. Okay. I feel like Paul, deep down, is not a bad guy. He's just... Mother can't wait to find out if I'll be going into science or home economics. Falls for the... Science. Uh, well... Perhaps. Let's see what the goat says. Well, well. Maintenance department. I hope your mother will be pleased. I'm sure mm -hmm. Stanley will be. Oh, is that Stanley's what? daughter? Bye. He won't let you get away with this? Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, Stanley is the person who does maintenance. Oh, who's her father? Wait, are you getting your yes. test? Hello. I, I hope you weren't just I talking to me. Oh, of course I was. You got a problem with that? I want to know what everybody's got. Now I already know what it says. Hardly takes a rocket scientist to crack that joke of a test. Well, I'll be damned. That little so-and-so. Why didn't I think of that when I was 16? That man sounded like a full-blown adult. He sounded like a 40-year-old man. Freddy Gomez! <gasps> Stop bothering me. I I've just got to figure out this last one. Freddy. Oh, I can pickpocket. Oh my god, I can pickpocket. Freddy! Aw. Freddy's cute. Are you done yet? I want to talk to you. Hey, what did you put for number 10? I'm not telling you. I can't figure out number five. There weren't even ten First, questions. I think I should listen to my grandmother. But then, isn't Were killing someone questions? wrong? Freddy's a good boy. I can tell Freddy's a good boy. Stop bothering me. I, I've just got to figure out this last <sighs> one. Just take the gun from your grandmother. Back off. What the fuck do you want? Look, Square, I already told you. We got nothing to say man. to each other. Oh, look, it's Doc's kid. Great. What do you want, nerd girl? I feel like Paul, deep down, is not a bad guy. He's just... What do you want, nerd girl? What do you want, nerd girl? Paul, I really... I really was trying to give you more credit. You I've got other things to do. Anything is possible, even an A. That is Mr. Promise. Three years later. Selfish and insufficient. Wake up! Come on, wake up! I'm not going to be around to hold your hand. Wake up. Come on. You've got to wake up. What happened? How weird. I was just dreaming about you. Oh my god. Uh, what's wrong? You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone they, and my father's men are looking love? for you. Your dad is gone? She was dreaming about her? 
Wait, 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 wait. She was dreaming about her? I should have checked. I should have checked that option. Are they... She are, is, is my character in love with her? She might be. My dad is gone. It got good for dad about time someone stood up to the overseer. No offense, big deal. Your dad's mad at my dad. What? What's that got to do with me? My dad is gone. He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone. And my father, he's kind of gone crazy. Oh shit! He actually left. He did it. I knew it. Mr. Paranoid has finally gone over the edge. Dad couldn't really have left the vault. That's impossible. I've never seen you scared him out of what happened. Uh, what's happened? It's Jonas! They <gasps> killed him! My father's men. They took him and... Oh my god. You have to leave now. What? Are you okay? You're not gonna cry, are you? They killed Jonas and I'm next. Is that it? Yeah, it's lucky I got here ahead of them. But we can't stand here talking. You've got to get out of here. But why? My dad can't have left the door sealed shut. You're right. I can't stay here. But where can I go? You're the overseer's daughter. Can't you fix this? Even if it was all true, how did you get here first? I need to escape the vault and you're going to help me? Um, how did you get here first? The door sealed shut. Not anymore, apparently. But are you honestly telling me you had no idea your dad was leaving? He really didn't tell you? My dad tells me everything. It's none of your business. No, I had no idea oh, I was going to leave. I'm sorry. I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Escape the fault? How? Not another one of your plans? Is this like Dutch and Red Dead? <laughs> I've got a plan, Amanda. Uh, I don't s I don't need help from anyone, especially not from the overseer's daughter. Not another one of your plans, Amada. That's so condescending. She's trying to help. At least, I think she's trying to help escape the vault. How? Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly secret from my father's tunnel. office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Why can't I my father's not stupid. He sealed the door to the exit to prevent anyone else from escaping. The tunnel is the only way out. You're just gonna have to trust me. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's Oh, pistol. shit. I hope you won't need it. But you'd better take it just in case. Are you gonna come with me? I'm handy if I run into any of her father's goons. No, you keep it. You might need it more than I do. Uh, I'll only use it as a last resort. Mm. I hope you're joking. Even with that pistol, I don't think you'll win a fight against the whole security force. Excuse me? Okay. I'll try to meet you at the exit. Good luck. Okay. Uh, okay. You at the vault door if I there she is. Hold it right there. Wait, you should get the stuff from your desk before you leave. Oh! Take BB gun. I'll take a baseball. Baseball glove. BB 50. Uh, how do I equip to sneak or crouch? Wait. Ow! How do I get my gun out? Wait. Or how do I get my um weapons baseball bat? Oh, R. I'll try to make this as painless as possible. Can I block? Can I take everything? Oh, wait, no. Police baton. Vault 101 security armor. Exit. He's naked. Can I put it on? Will they know who I am? I'm gonna use this. Is this better? Uh, damage. Oh, this one is better. Uh, condition. Oh, th though this is how you repair stuff. Oh, so there's weapon. Um, okay. So this way. You gotta help me. My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches. Really? You're asking me for help, Butch? Where the fuck are you even? Are you? What are you doing back there? Fuck off! I'm not going to help you. Come on, let's go see if we can help her. Butch, ask me for help. If only you knew what irony meant. 
Uh, do we have time for this? Yeah, I'm asking you. So what? Look, I'm sorry for the way I've always treated you. You know I never meant any of it, right? But it's my mom. You can't leave her in there with the rad roaches. Bro, I- this such bullshit. Doing this for your mom, not for you. Why do you need any, my help anyway? Afraid of a few rad roaches? Actually, I can leave her for the rad roaches. Just watch me. Uh. Afraid of a few rad well, roaches? Yeah, so I hate rad roaches. So what? I tried to go back in to help her. I swear I did. But I just can't do it. So I'm begging you, please help her. I don't know what I'd do without my mom. Your mom's already done for you. You'd better run before those roaches come for you. You're big. They're little. Just go in there and squish them. Be a hero. Fine, I'll save your mom. Here, take my BB gun. You don't need to be scared of roaches now. Sorry, Butch, you're on your own. I've got to go. Oh, Butch is a bitch. He's scared of a wee cockroach. I feel bad for her, but also fuck him. <laughs> um, Enough people are scared of today's size cockroaches already. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Uh, uh. Oh my God, thank you. I didn't know what to do. You're the best. You better be singing my praises. Butchie, stop me! Ah, stop it! Ah! Ow, that hurts! You're welcome. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay. You're the best friend I've ever had, man. Hey! I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snakes jacket. Go ahead, take it. <laughs> I can't- I cannot with this man! What? I- I've never seen somebody change allegiances faster than Butch. <laughs> oh my gosh. And now I have a ton of snakes jacket. Wow. God, I could really use a drink right now. You have one in your hand! <laughs> it looks like you've got it covered, Ellen. You're good, girl. You- you're good to go, homegirl. <gasps> Who is that? Who died? Is that the old lady? <gasps> Grandma Taylor! Oh my god! Isn't that the old lady? That's the old lady, right? Or no? Is that a different grandma? How many old people are in this- are in this, uh... It's over here. What is that? A toaster? I'm not taking that. God, I hate these things. Not oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just, just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. <laughs> I was about to beat his ass. God. Um. Uh, thank you, Officer Gomez. I always liked you. I wanted to make you my father-in-law, Offer Officer Gomez. I'm sorry. I always liked you. I will pretend you don't work for a homicidal maniac. That's a real shame. It's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. Uh, what? I feel like I need to get my gun. Ow! What the hell? Officer Richard Storcho <gasps> Whoa, 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 whoa!
What are these? Oh, it's V when you see enemies. Okay. This is the main entrance. I was supposed to go somewhere else, wasn't I? Oh, guns. Okay. Take. There'd be a bonus for whoever brought you in. Oh, that was close. Holy crap. You. This is your fault. You and your stupid father. Who the hell are you? He had to mess things up for everybody. Okay. I told you. I don't know. Admin. Officer Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Just Is that a Mata? Where to find your friend so we can talk to her. She's my friend. I was worried about her. What does she have to do with any of this? Any Stop in the name of the overseer. <laughs> You're gonna be sorry. <laughs> Got you now. Get off of my friend. Oh, that's him. Oh, fuck. That's him. Oh, God. What have I done? Ah! How dare you threaten me? Do I need the jumpsuit? Oh shit. This is not good. This is not good. I fucked up. I fucked up. In the name of my friend, I fucked up. I'm lost now. I don't know where I'm going. Shit. Bring it. Oh shit. How to get out of here? How do I go back to that room? Filter room? Oh, inaccessible. Oh shit! I always knew that was close. close. Blood. Ah! They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. I didn't lose her. She's not dead, is she? Get out of here. Do I kill him? I knew he'd turn up sooner or later. You uh. shouldn't have tried to run. <laughs> I don't want to kill him. I can't kill him. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Please work. Please work. <laughs> I killed him. I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. Office key terminal password. Oh god, I just murdered everybody. Where did Amada go? I feel like this is very wrong. What happens if you kill him? <gasps> I feel like this is so wrong. Oh, uh, hey. Hey! Oh God, what have you done? You killed him! Why would you kill my father? Ah! <laughs> Wait. Can I? Can I? Oh God, what did I do? Go to his com computer terminal? Where is his computer terminal? Okay, you guys. Uh, where? How do I? Is this it? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> What have I done? Uh, welcome overseer. Open overseer's tunnel. <laughs> um, how do I? Opening, did it open? So some vaults get this gek module, which makes it like, of like, like a paradise. And we didn't get that? Not every vault will be equipped with a GEC module. Why? What the hell? He's got files on everybody. If Butch and his leather-clad delinquents accost Amada what? Oh, one more time, I'll have to deal with their acerb acerbic teacher. Did I say that right? 
Uh, their services have come in handy upon occasion, I must admit. But they're starting to become unruly. If dogs have become feral, they must be put down. I'll have to remind Butch that upon our, that upon our meeting next time. Okay. Oh my god, and I just killed him? Oh no. Oh god, I can't believe I just killed him. I just killed him. Beatrice, just what Vault 101 needs. An absent-minded, sexually repressed sycophant. <laughs> oh my god! Sir Vault 101 admirably for years, but her mind is growing feeble. I'll have to speak with our good doctor about some kind of, kind of long-term pharmaceutical solution. <gasps> What the hell, Overseer? Oh, man. We may at least be able to keep her comfortable and quiet until she passes on. Uh, you wanted to drug her, sir? I never should have assigned Jonas as James's assistant. He was always too idealistic for his own good. Now he spends every waking minute with the good doctor, who gleefully fills his ears with even more idealistic nonsense. I've considered reassigning him, but the truth is Jonas is fine. Is a fine medic in his own right, and hiding him down on the maintenance in maintenance would be a terrible waste of resources. Every time I try to get Amada to open up, she just pushes me further and further away. Since she was a child, I've tried to instill in her that these virtues, those virtues that I have made this fault what it is today, loyalty, honesty, commitment, hard work. She does try it and with a lot of guidance has grown into a fine young, wo young woman. That makes it all the sadder that she continues to alienate me. She looks at me and sees the overseer, not the father that has cared for her alone, alone since she was an infant. Oh, God, he doesn't have a file on me or my dad. So they have gone scouting. So they've gone scouting. And they have left the vault. Okay. So, which we kind of figured. Like, you can't just never leave. Like, how do you... How do you get resources? The good news is that the human civilian civilization still survives, despite everything. We discovered a settlement known as Megaton. Megaton? Whose inhabitants, although somewhat wary at first, soon welcomed us into their town. Uh, she's gotta be. Oh! Fancy. So this is how I get out. Oh, I just killed my best friend's dad. Bro, I was just trying to help her. Okay, I want to go back and get that, um... <gasps> A note from dad? Uh, so science plus five. Oh, no. Hold on, I think it's this way. It's through this door right here. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I... I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep you going. <laughs> Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. What? I love you. Oh. Oh my God. The password was Amada. Oh my God. Okay, let's go talk to her really quick. Get away from me! I can't talk to you right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really did not want to kill your father. He tried to kill me first, though. I hope that it doesn't affect our friendship in the future. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. Okay, good. I was trying to close that. Well, you know, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Is this where we go? Strange new world? Is this it? Is this it? F5. Did we make it? Damn it. <laughs> I thought maybe for sure we were gonna get out. I 
activate vault door control pod. I guess it makes sense that they have more than one. This lock cannot be picked, it requires a key to open. All right, let's do this. She's opening the vault door. Get the overseer. We need this door open now. Oh, my God. You actually opened it. Wait, you actually opened it? What do you mean, Amada? You actually opened it. Good. You're leaving. I guess you were trying to help me, but you... You didn't have to kill him. So you say, maybe one day I'll be able to forgive you, but not now. I hope you never have to find out what it's like to see your father killed right in front of you. No, don't listen to me. Just, just go. Find your father. I have to go bury mine. Honey, you're already like six feet under, aren't you? He doesn't need to be buried. It's fine. It's, you know, sorry. He's already, he's already, he's already. I'm sorry, Yamada. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, guys, I'm going through I'm going through an, an emotional roller coaster. One minute I feel really bad and then the next minute I'm like he sucked. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Why not come with me? No, I can't. Not with you, not now. You'd better leave before I change my mind about letting you go. I knew you'd find out sooner or later. Ah! The overseer's gonna hear about this. He's dead! I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. He's dead. Uh, before you leave Vault 101 forever, forever, you may revise your character. Um, I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna do anything. Because we, I, I like how we have it right now. We just created our village and, villain or, origin story. Oh my god. I can't talk village and horror story. Village and horror story. A villain, villain origin story. <laughs> okay. Alright, here we go. We're leaving the vault forever. Amada says, bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Even though I just killed hers. Also, the whole comment about, I hope you never have to see your father die in right in front of you. One, she was not right in front of me. And two, is that foreshadowing? It is bleak. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Yay, we finished the tutorial. It only took me three hours. enemies by charisma violence is not the answer <laughs> are you sure <laughs> okay so welcome to level two so i'll sign 15 we get 15 skill points holy moly oh man you murdered her dad level up i also really like the idea of having like putting some stuff into repair as well because i think that that's going to be helpful with like the weapons and stuff right should i focus on those is speech repair barter or should i only focus on like two like i don't know what the my rule of thumb is getting things to milestones milestones of 25 50 75 okay violence is always the answer a speech is for conversation checks so getting things five to ten rounded out okay okay so you think so let's say we wanted to do like i 
like that, and then six to speech, six to barter, and then we could put the rest into repair. I feel like, is that like a good one for right now, do we think? So would it be more beneficial, say, to do, you get a perk every level. Okay, 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 okay. So it's 25, 50, and 75 are like the special stuff. Should I focus on the ones that I picked earlier? So should I focus on lockpick medicine and small guns first? Like prioritize those, get those to 50, and then work on other stuff? Is that what you're saying? Correct. Okay, all right. Okay. That makes sense to me. That makes sense. So we'll do 40. I could just get lockpick to 50. And then I would have it at 50 and I wouldn't have to worry about it. I did, okay, I'm just gonna do this. We're just gonna go with this for right now. I didn't have them, uh, I said I have to, yeah, I had to buy them. Okay. All right. In combat, you do plus 10 damage against male opponents. Wait, what? Black Widow, choose one perk. You do plus 10 damage against male opponents. Outside of combat, you'll sometimes have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the opposite sex. Daddy's girl. Just like dear old dad, you devoted your time to intellectual pursuits. You gain an additional five points to both the science and medicine skills. Gun nut. You're obsessed with using and maintaining a wide variety of conventional firearms, which each, each rank of gun nut perk, you gain a additional five points to the small guns and repair skills. Okay, I, I like Black Widow. I think I'm gonna take that one. That one just sounds right. It just sounds perfect. It sounds perfect. I love it. Uh, Black Widow sounds hilarious. Let her find things out. Swift learning is very useful early game. All right, we'll do Black Widow. Okay. Hey. Right. What does this say? Scenic overlook. Oh, look how pretty it is. Wow. If you mess something up, it's easy. You can save scum and I'm not past save scumming. I will do it if something happened. Although I feel like I had to just roll with killing Amada's father, the overseer. <laughs> But it's like, I'm not, I usually like when I play Baldur's Gate, I try not to save scum, but um, I definitely am very curious about some options. So I'm like, maybe I kind of want to try this and see what happens. Or if something happens that I really, really am trying to avoid, I will definitely reload. Like I'm not afraid to do that. So it's definitely uh, something that I'm not opposed to at all. <laughs> okay. Oh, is it getting dark? Like nighttime? Oh, great. Good rate. That is a an airplane. Galaxy news radio signal found? <gasps> Ooh, let's listen to it. It doesn't sound like there's much to listen to. Megaton? I can kind of hear something. Oh, frag grenade. Jet. Psycho. You have discovered Springvale. What is that? Uh, that thing looks like it could kill me. I'm not going over there. Ain't no freaking way I'm going over there. Is there a way to sprint in this game? Am I running? Oh, I am running. Oh. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Is that a... It's a mo rat. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Toggles between walking and running. So this is running? God, I feel like I'm moving so slow. Bonk the mole rat. You can walk or jog basically. Okay, so there's no sprinting. Okay. She killed Rufus. <laughs> Dead. 
Yeah, get him! Get him! <laughs> oh, he's still alive! <laughs> so fun. I love it. I love it so much. This is fun. Okay. Um, okay, now go now club at death claw. Oh god, I'm scared. <laughs> Do I not have any action points? Okay, there we go. I really need to get better at not getting hit. <laughs> uh, okay, I can't tell if I want to get in here or if I should get in here. I feel like I should get in here. Oh, I think maybe this is where I'm supposed to go, right? Are they gonna kill me? <gasps> I don't wanna kill you. I'm not- What? Hello? Deputy Have Weld? <gasps> nice visit, partner. Hello, who are you? Mickey. Oh, thank God. Someone new. I need water, please. Water. Someone new? What is this it's Megaton. Megaton. Living in a hole or something? Megaton. Everyone's heard of Megaton. They have plenty of water in there, but they only give it to residents or people who can pay for it. I've been drinking this irradiated shit. Man. Oh, irradiated. I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, please. I don't have any water please. to give you. If you find I'm some, sorry. please. You've I'll discovered Megaton. Come. Megaton. Hello. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff. Oh. There too, when the need arises. Okay. I don't know why, but I like you, girl. <laughs> Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holla if you need something. I'm actually not all right. Um, I am dying, and you literally walked up to me and said, "I like you." After you barely put your eyes on me. <laughs> Nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice hat. Calamity Jane. Say nothing. Uh, nice to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're going to get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Message received. You don't scare me. I want to play. I want to do another playthrough of this where I just say all of the smart ass shit. Oh man, see, they get you. They get you with these dialogue choices. They're like, oh, you want to play? I like, you want to play one way or you want to play another way. It's like every game that gives you these dialogue choices. I'm like, time to make a second character so I can be a smart ass my entire playthrough. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Okay. I could use some directions. Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? Where's the closest clinic? <laughs> Our clinic is down in the crater, by the bomb. Doc Church is a little rough around the edges, but the man's got talent and compassion. Okay, weapons dealer? You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Okay. Is there a bar? Sure is. Moriarty's. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Just be careful. Moriarty is not your friend, no matter what he may say. So don't fall for his lies, and for God's sake, don't trust the man. Okay, noted. I need some equipment. Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. Crater side supply. Take a guess where it is. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Where can I rent a bed? Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. Okay. Talk about something else? Sure thing. What's on your mind? I wonder, can you take like short rests in this game as well? Like if I were to sleep in a bed, will that, res will that uh, store health? I guess we'll have to go find out. 
Let's discuss this bomb. What about it? Yeah, I don't like the way that he's. I don't like the way that he's. Uh, he's pronouncing Moriarty either. Time. I'm gonna say who would build a bomb. It's not that. like the place was put up overnight. Megaton's been here for decades. Been growing and growing ever since. Started out as a small settlement of people trying to get into Vault 101. When they were denied, they stuck around here. Some of them started worshiping the thing like a god. Now we've got a whole goddamn church. They're nuts, no doubt, but mostly harmless. By now, most people don't give a shit. They figure if it ain't gone off by now, it never will. I respectfully disagree. Uh, yeah. If that bomb ever explodes, it would be doing a world a favor, whatever. I don't plan on sticking around for very long anyway. I can see about disarming that bomb for you. Oh, all right. <laughs> Fine, but listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Okay. Uh, speech 8%, demolition expertise doesn't come cheap. I want 500 caps. I don't need a reward. I couldn't sleep at night knowing you could all die. 100 caps, all right, I'll take a look at it. Not my problem. Good luck, Sheriff. Uh, I'll just settle for 100 caps because ain't no way I'm going to pass this check. And I'm not doing it for no reward either. I barely know these people. They could be trying to two-time me. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. But I will ask. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his oh, eye. You know the not. kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. It just seems so crazy that my dad would just leave. Why would he just leave? Um... It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements, too, spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To uh -huh. the south, you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to D.C., Place is a war zone. What? <laughs> Why are you asking so many questions? Am I not allowed to ask questions, Jordan? If I if I wanted to if I wanted to play this game without chat, I would just be playing it off stream. <laughs> oh, girl, Check your hair. Side supply. Sheriff, saloon, welcome. Clinic, commons, luxury, apartment. <laughs> I love that. Luxury apartment. Okay. <gasps> a cow! <gasps> a two-headed cow! <laughs> <laughs> he has two heads. Oh my god. I really thought there were two cows. two cows oh my god <gasps> oh god you were sleeping i'm so sorry is it the middle of the night did i just disrupt this man's sleep you, hi i'm doc church and i run this clinic now before you go asking me for help you'd better know the rules rule one don't bother me if you do bother me you better be damn near dead i am i'm busy enough taking care of people i actually like follow my rule i'll keep you patched up I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. I'm hurt. I need help. Good lord. This'll take some work. 100 caps worth of work. I don't... Do I not have 100 caps? You kidding me? What are you wasting my time for? <laughs> I'm hurt. Good Wait. lord. This'll take some work. 100 caps worth of work. Like I thought, I'll be fine. Then stop wasting oh, my time. I thought, uh, I need to buy medical supplies. Not quite as good as that vault stuff you're used to, but it'll do you. How much? He has eight, eight caps. Can I sell? What can I sell? Uh, what did I say I wanted to sell? I wanted to sell the vodka. I only need like a couple. Can I buy these? I don't have any caps. How did that work? I really just need like a couple. Ah, 
Do you know about people here? A doctor doesn't talk about his patients. At least not to strangers, he doesn't. <laughs> you can trust me, I'm a doctor myself. Ooh. All right. I suppose someone with medical training has to have at least a bit of compassion. And maybe you can talk some sense into the boy. The boy? Leo Stahl. That boy got himself a problem with Jet. I've caught him in here two to three times trying to steal what I keep around for anesthetic. Not even his own family knows it. He goes up to the water treatment plant at night to get high. I don't uh. know. I can't reach him. Maybe you can. Okay. You should go back to sleep so I can steal your stim packs, bro. Okay. Wait, I want to talk to you real quick. Hold on. Where are you going? Ha! Ah, look at this! New blood! Tell me, girl. You ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. I don't like now, this man. I don't know you from Adam. But I got you pegged for a patriot, and any patriot worth her salt is gonna toss her gun in for the Enclave. Any day now, they're gonna roll up here, and then this nightmare will be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? Why do you support the Why? Enclave? Why? Look around you! This is the good old USA! Sure, she looks a little bit different these days, but you're still on American soil. And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. And it's your duty and my duty to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? You're right, my country deserves my unthinking and unquestioning support. I can't possibly care less about governments or presidents. Well, we can't all care. Besides, why should we have to? That's what the government is here for, to take care of that stuff. If you've never seen the Enclave, how can you know anything about them? They're on the radio. They have been for years. President Eden talks about everything they're doing. They got flying robots all around, watching everything so they know what to do when they finally swoop in and clean this place up. You'll see. People think I'm just a crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave gets here. World around. What's the word? They're the American here? government. The Eagle. People call the The more perfect union. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. What do you say? I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. That guy is a little weird. Is this the bomb? This is the bomb. Activate undetonated atomic bomb. Oh, shit. Iguana on a stick? What is this? Iguana on a stick? Squirrel on a stick? Okay, well, I can't really complain about that because I've definitely eaten squirrel before. Iguana bits? Gross. I'm not gonna steal it yet, okay? Detected. Oh shit, it says I'm detected. I don't really want anything from you right now. Eventually, I'm gonna try to steal shit from you, but I just need a stim pack. Somebody give me a stim pack. Local cult. Oh my god. <laughs> we go from one cult to another. Somebody give me some water. Hello. Hey. Well, goddamn. You're new, right? <laughs> Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, I just seen you quite a chem habit. Uh, who's in charge right Well, here? Moriarty thinks he is, but Lucas Sims is the law around here, and everyone knows it. What are you doing in here? Nothing. I'm... I'm not doing anything. Leave me alone. <laughs> what? Excuse me, sir? What do you do for fun around <laughs> here? Well, there's this and that. I keep myself busy. But really, that's none of your business, is it? Can you tell me about me? What's to tell? We're alive, so we've got nothing to complain about, right? And hell, I've got a restaurant, so I have it better than most. Uh, what's the word? Hey, I'm not town? much of a mudslinger. I don't like to spread stuff around, you know what I mean? Everybody has their secrets. Let's keep them that way. Oh, man. He's talking about how he's got secrets, and I'm about to drop... I'm about to drop this bomb on him. I understand you have quite a chem habit, sir. Damn it. Who told you? I, I mean, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. 
Uh, it's okay, Leo. I want to help. What's it worth to you to keep keep it out of the public eye? It's not my business. What's it worth to you to keep it out of the public eye? Mm, you pay me money? Could I blackmail this guy for money? <laughs> I, I just can't bring it to myself. I can't bring myself to do this. I, I want to help him. Help? What's to help? So I'm a junkie. Big fucking deal. It's not like I'm hurting anyone. You're hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself. You're hurting your family, Leo. Jenny and Andy care about you. I didn't even know about Jenny and Andy. Have I? Did I? Did did the doctor tell me about Jenny and Andy? I don't know. It's like it, it goes in one ear and out the other. I never thought about it that way. Can you hook me up? <laughs> nice try. Damn it. Not You're damn right it's not your business. All right, I need to find the hotel or like the inn. Gib water. Wait, I'm getting radiation. Ah, it's fine. Is it okay if I just take a little bit more? Oopies, oopies, oopies. Oopies. <laughs> so I'm fine. I have 45. I'm fine. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, now we're full health. Thank goodness. Now we can actually walk around without the freaking heartbeat. 